hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber welcome and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back everything that i use in this video will be listed down below please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss whenever i post another video let's get straight into it today's video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve the perfect brows each and every time and the tools that you can use to achieve this look Okay, first things first, I like to use a spoolie to brush up my brow hairs in the direction that my brows go. It's also to help the hairs lay down. You can use a brow gel or a brow wax to help lay them down and stay in place. It's up to you. I'm using this Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil and I'm just using it for my brows. Only reason why I'm using this particular brow pencil today is because this is what I had in front of me. And you want to make sure you outline the bottom portion of your brows first, very lightly, keeping the lines as straight as you possibly can. It does not have to be super straight because you are going to use concealer to help clean it up as well. Now, when going on the top brow, you don't want to go directly in the front. You want to have like a little space in between. So move back just a little bit and fill in everything. And for me, I have a natural pointy arch and I like to trim it down to make it more rounded. So that's why I am rounding that corner of my brow. And for the front, I do have light hairs there. They're very fine. So I'm just adding a little light hair strokes in the front, keeping them very light because I like that ombre look. And then you're going to take your spoolie to really brush that product through, making sure you check to see if you need to apply any more product in the places that need it for me I don't have to use that much when using this pencil because it is like a darker brown than what I use for my regular brows but with this I do feel that you have to be very careful because if you apply too much it can look a little darker than what you intended on it looking So now I'm going back in with that spoolie just to clean up the front part of my brows because I don't like the front part to be as heavy as the back portion. And I'm also double checking to see what areas I need to add a little more product. And your brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, but I like to get mine as close as possible. So as you can see what I just showed you, they are a little different, but I'm going to show you how I fix it to make them look the same. Now you want to go in with your concealer to help clean up your brows. I like to use a lighter concealer at the bottom because I also use it as an eyeshadow base. You want to make sure you take your time when doing your brows so you don't mess up none of your hard work. I also like to take some of that concealer and drag it down onto the lid just to make sure that I don't have a pile of concealer sitting underneath my brows as well as this will help me dry down the product a little bit before going in with my brush or my sponge. I like to use this brush to help blend out those edges. This is a Real Techniques accent brush. And I like to blend out the edges of this as well as dry that product down before going in and adding on any translucent powder to help dry it down even further. And you wanna make sure when going directly under your brows, you kinda of take your time because if you press on your brows, it can transfer some of that product on there and you will mess up your work. And to conceal the top portion of your brows, you want to take a concealer that's similar to your skin tone or even your foundation. You also can use that same concealer. It's 100% up to you. I like to take a little bit at a time and really take my time when doing this part because I feel like if you mess up on here, it's kind of harder to fix the top portion, in my opinion, than it is the bottom. And I'm also blending in that concealer or the foundation, whichever you use, into my forehead. And I'm going to take that same brush to blend out the edges as well as dry that concealer or that foundation down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
and even though this brow is already done i did go back in to add a little more product because i wanted this side to really match the other side again your brows are supposed to be sisters not twins but i like mine as close as possible since the rest of my face is already done i'm going in with my concealer just to highlight the center of my forehead a little bit and i'm taking my time when applying this close to my brows because again i don't want to mess up my hard work i'm taking that same accent brush and i'm just blending out the edges at first before drying down that concealer And since I normally do my brows first, I forgot I did not put on foundation onto my forehead. So I'm blending out the edges of that concealer as well as applying a little bit of foundation. Now it's time to finish off my brows. I like to take my spoolie and whatever product that's foundation or concealer that's sitting in the center of my brows. I like to blend that into my brows to give me that more faded effect versus having everything look so boxy. You can go back in with your brow pencil and add more when needed. I prefer to use a brow pencil that has the spoolie attached to it, but with this particular product, I didn't have any more um, brow pencil on there and I didn't want to get up to go get another one so I just used what I had in front of me because honestly it all works the same. I also added some translucent powder to my brows. I don't know what happened to that clip of the video but that's what you see me applying in the center of my brows as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss whenever I post another video and I will see you in the next one.